TNT family, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tori. It's your boy Travis. <laughs> and we got Winter back there, you guys. She is sleeping. She, out. She, she said, is out like the light. She said, I'm gone, y'all. <laughs> it's so crazy because, like, I swear, every time we get somewhere, like, actually, like, arrive to the place we're supposed to go, she falls asleep. <laughs> but you know, it is her bedtime, pretty much I her know. nap time. You know, know. We, she's kind of yawning, so we kind of figured she's gonna fall asleep. Yeah. So we're actually at the mall right now because somebody is gonna get a little bit of a treat. So Travis doesn't like ask for anything. He never wants anything. He never wants gifts. He never wants anything. So I was like, babe, what is it that I can get you? You know, just to make you feel a little bit special. Because like I tell you guys, he wants he wants like nothing, and he always spoils me. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? I, I'm gonna go. The, we're gonna go to the mall. And we're gonna buy you a little something. And and you can't say no, okay? You can't say no. <laughs> She's like she wants to buy me something, you know, something nice, mm -hmm. I guess, or something like just a little something. So I said, you can buy me some slippers. Yeah. So we're in Neiman Marcus right now. We're gonna go buy him uh, some slippers. What, which what, which is the ones that you want? What are the ones that you want? Is I, it? Uh, I want the Burberry ones. The Burberry. See, all I need is your love. That's all I need. <laughs> I just need your love. As long as I got that. You don't ever want I'm me to rich. buy you. And guys, I've never met somebody who just didn't want anything. That's you. I'm simple. You don't want anything. I'm and simple. You're very simple. Yeah, because I, I don't like it. Honestly, like me being a dude, I need to do that for you. So, like, when you do it for me, it's not that it feels weird, mm -hmm. but it just kind of, I don't know. I, I don't like to be spoiled with gifts. You know weird. what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's a, like a manly thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I don't know. But. I do, you know, like, I want to I wanna get something today because I know you really want to get me something. We're not actually into designer stuff a lot, even though you got... I know, we're, we're like in Gucci or whatever, and we got no, like... No, seriously, we're really not into designer stuff, like, at all. We will buy it occasionally, but as you guys know, I'm just, that's not who I am. I don't care for it, but every once in a while... I'll get a wet wild hair up my butt. <laughs> you know, we, we talk something. about, yeah, like our whole wardrobe isn't designer, you know what I mean? We don't, we're not gonna, I, I, we kind of feel like it's kind of crazy to spend money like that, you know what I mean? Well, I like to mix and match. So, perfect example. Okay, so this hat, I don't remember how much this hat was, like four or five hundred dollars or something like that? Yeah, something like that. It was something like that, three or four hundred dollars this hat, or five hundred, I don't even remember. Okay, but this shirt was like four dollars, wasn't it? <laughs> No, I'm just trying to explain to them how you just mix and match. So yeah, this I'm this just... hat I have on is I, I want to say how much is the Gucci hat? I gotta look it up because I want to be I, you know you gotta be right with Gucci. I want to say it's like so, four, four fifty if I'm not mistaken. The Gucci hat, baseball cap. Okay, so this one was four sixty. Four fifty. Dang, okay. I'm good. All right, you you are good. So this hat was four sixty. My belt was like. $540 or $600. I don't know how much my Gucci belt was, but it's something like that. So my Gucci belt was like 600 and my hat was like 500 and something uh, with tax and all. And then this shirt was $5. <laughs> so there you go. That's that's the story of, of who I am, right? Mix and match. So I do want to give you guys a little bit of an update. I know you guys are always asking about my mental health, you know, how I am, how I'm feeling. And I just want to tell you guys, I'm doing really good mentally and physically. Uh, I've been exercising. I've been drinking my water. <laughs> you, you look good. Your skin well, looks you. good. And I want to tell you about these vitamins that I'm taking right now, which are absolutely amazing. A special thanks to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. It contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that are difficult to get even with a healthy diet. There are so many things I love about Ritual's multivitamins. They're vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and they contain no added sugar. These are the pills right here. All right, so they look kind of cool. They actually have a mint tab on the inside to keep the vitamins smelling fresh, which is really, really amazing. That's why, oh, they just smell so good, which is really nice. They're gentle on the stomach. I absolutely love these. And the coolest part ever is that they offer a variety of multivitamins. They have some for men, they have some for 50 plus people, they have uh, some for kids, teens, prenatal, postnatal, and recently landed an essential protein range. All right guys, so click on the link down below to get 20% off your first month. Use our code guys, we're helping you out because this is an amazing offer. So don't delay, get these amazing ritual multivitamin pills today. Who told you it looks so good on red today? 
I do. I told you to wear that shirt. Thank That's you. for him. You can't be coming ahead looking all sexy like that. I, told you I don't look like, like a that. tomato. Nah, you look like you look like a like a sexy little apple. Nah, like a little like a, like, like a sexy little Valentine's Day treat or something. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so okay, well, thank you. Get us. Hmm. I really do actually. Give me another one. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure these <laughs> over there taking a, a pee in the corner. Really? Right over there, look. Where? Right there. You can't see it. Probably the pillars in the way. Yep, oh yours. my goodness, there is a guy who literally took, <laughs> why would he do that? He literally just like went to the corner of this parking lot. Dude, I didn't even, I open. was wondering why he was. Baby, you, your surroundings, need, you need to be better with your surroundings. Why do, like, we gonna get caught slipping. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I'm like, oh guys, I pay <laughs> attention. Oh my gosh. I, I know, like, I'm like, I like pay attention to everything there. and there's a guy literally right there peeing and I'm just like, okay, see, I didn't see that. See? If I it was a snake, be, it would have bit you. It would have bit me. Why do, you guys are so crazy. You guys get to do that. It's the, it's the most annoying thing ever that you guys I mean, just that's a little go ridiculous. And, and urinate anywhere you want and you're totally fine. Like, I mean, is that, isn't that against the law to do that? It is. That's a little ridiculous. I mean, we go outside, but I mean, not enough, like, there's literally people, there's literally people everywhere. <sighs> But, I mean, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, to you know be a man. guy. When you gotta go, you gotta go. You guys can do pretty much whatever, and then we have to just be very, you know, civil and polite. Oh my gosh, you gotta find a bathroom, you gotta find some, like, somewhere that's decent enough yeah, to go Yeah, and, like, bathroom. pray that you make it. Alright, let's get inside, guys. Well, we don't have them. They don't have them. They don't have the shoes you want, so we have to get something else. So we end up going to Neiman Marcus to find the, I was gonna say blueberry, <laughs> <laughs> the Burberry slippers, but they didn't have them. So because they didn't have them, we're heading over to Gucci and we're gonna see if we can get us some Gucci slides. You want some of those? You can't go wrong with Gucci slides. You can't go wrong with, I know, here we are, back yeah, at Gucci yeah. again. You want those? Yeah. Do you like those? I do, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go with those. I like these though, too. The white ones? Do you yeah. like those? Do you like those, though? I do, yeah. Okay, let's get them. Yeah, I'm gonna get those. Yeah, for sure. Okay. You found the one you want? Yeah, well, we're easy. We know exactly <laughs> what we want. <laughs> So now we're just heading to get Thank something you, to eat now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She wants some pizza. We hit up this place called Via 313. Uh, I think after a whole like Chicago experience, she wants some more deep, or deep yes, dish pizza, right? Yes, I do. All right, here you go, sexy. Right. This is your spot. My spot? This is your spot. What does that mean? You said I want some pizza. I got, I got winner's cup with me. Literally doing like 100 miles an hour to get you some pizza. Are you ready for some pizza! Some pizza! How is it sexy? That's good. Is it good? I'm gonna eat this little pizza right here, look. It's good, I'm glad we came here. It's like a mixture, right? Yeah, it's a mixture. Look at it. What's that on top? I don't know. Yeah, it's probably gonna be really good though. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't tell what it is. It's like a ricotta, I think, or something. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm gonna get to this, y'all. Y'all can't see me, but I'm gonna get into it right now because that's how I do. So we just left the pizza place. It was super good. I feel so stuffed. And we, they, they literally gave us like four pieces of pizza, yes. and we're, we kind of we looked at it. We said, "That don't seem like that much." Yes, but like your eyes are definitely bigger than your stomach <laughs> because the thing with deep dish pizza is once you actually start <clears throat> eating it, it's like, oh my goodness! Like I, I literally got through one piece, and I was like, I'm done. Like it's so it's so hearty. Is that it's the crazy. word? It's crazy. It's so hearty that it's just like. You can only really get through one piece. So we had our one piece. We're gonna go grab some ice cream. For some reason, pizza and ice cream, they just kind of go together. They do. I, I really I don't love know what it is. I love ice cream, so we're gonna grab some ice cream. But it's been a great day. You got your shoes, your Gucci shoes, and uh, we got some pizza. Winter's been chilling with her tablet, which we were so <laughs> happy about. She's been really good. <laughs> She's been really good today. She yeah. has, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to tell you about my little, you know, restroom incident. So I went to one of the restrooms. 
um, at this particular pizza place. And I haven't even heard about this, so this is news to me. Yes, and there was like no tissue uh, at uh, all. So I was like, and I had to go really, 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 really badly. And then I said, you know what? No worries. Because they had like a, what do you call it? When a unisex? Yeah, I was going to say that. That was like men. It weapons. was. Yeah, yeah. So I went to the other one. Nice. And I was like, I'm going to use that one. And that one also had no <clears throat> tissue. Really? Really? Both? Yes. Did you so, let them know? I did. But I ended up using a paper towel. <laughs> and then I got ready to wash my hands. There was no soap. What? So I said, what the heck is going on? This is why, guys, I have a love and hate relationship. Actually, no, you know what? I have a hate relationship. <laughs> I would say, because they <laughs> weren't even that busy. public restrooms. They weren't that busy. I was either. like, they need to get it together. But it's okay. You should have complained. You know what? We're filing an online complaint with y'all. I know. It's, like, stupid to, like, wipe yourself with a paper towel. But anyway, you got to do what you got to do. You, you know, know? I, I would be lying if I said, you know, I haven't gone to the restroom and... You've used a paper towel before? Sometimes you have to, sexy. You know what I mean? Well, like, they didn't have... They, they, well, I had to go. I had to really, really go. And they were like, oh, well, we're going to send someone the, in. No, no, no. This is them. Well, we're going to send someone in to change it out. I'm like, dude, I have to go right now. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. But the worst is What's the worst? when you actually sit down, you've already gone. You know I'm going with this. What? No, I don't know where you're going with it. it sounds gross. And but then what are you, you talking about? You sit down, you've already done your business, you know what I mean? Oh. Like, then you, re you look over. Well, they say you already dropped your kids off at the yeah, pool. Yeah, you already dropped your kids pool. off at the pool, whatever. <laughs> it, or y'all, so or y'all, whatever you do, you, you know, tinkle, whatever you do. And then you look we over. Tinkle? And then you go, boom. Oh. No tissue. No tissue. What do you do? Please don't tell me use your hand. You use a lifeline. You call somebody. But if you're in a public restroom, who do you call? You call your significant other. What if they're not there? Then there's a saying to prove. Wait, your... have you ever used like your 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 your, your shirt? To or prove you're a man, you must wipe with your. No, uh, uh, you will tell me you wipe with your hand, Travis. I don't believe it. I know it's never happened to me. I've always, okay. I've always bailed myself out of, I was gonna say, out of those situations. No. But I'm just saying that's the worst. Okay, I've never done that. I've never, I've always has, or you know, my mom used to tell me to carry like tissue in your purse. That was, that's a good, you know. Yeah, for sure. See, y'all, y'all have that option. That's true. If I, if I ever do in public, which I never usually do, <laughs> but I always look to make sure that there's something there. That's good. That's good to do. It seems like every time I, I am on camera, I'm telling them some sort of restrooms, public restroom story, because it's always so, you know, either no tissue or there's poop smeared all over the toilet or there's, you know, you know, urine all over the toilet or there's no soap or there's, you know, um, I even found a, what do you call those? Like people shoot up the needles in their arm. I don't know. The, Anyway, I found that in the restroom. You know what? I don't know. I've just had the most interesting, like, experiences. Syringe, I think it's what it's called. Syringe. I have the most interesting experiences, like, going to the restroom that sometimes I, like, literally have nightmares about it. All right, so I'm going to try some of my ice cream. Mmm. So I found, mmm, a good? really good place. Mm. Yes, I love ice cream. Well, this is custard. I don't know what the difference is, really. Do you? Um, I think custard is made with more eggs. Oh, I'm is that sure. thicker? I think so. It's really good. Mm. I don't know. It's ice cream. Like ice cream, tomato, tomatoes. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean? whatever. <laughs> it all goes down the same and it all comes out the same. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's really good though. Mm. This is like some kind of like, um, it's like jello almost. Jello? Jello, yeah. What you're eating? Yeah, it's like a frozen ice jello. So it says it's 104 degrees outside, which is so crazy. <laughs> it's 104 degrees. So it's hot. It's been really, really, really hot in Texas. So we always, like, we actually have the air kind of turned down a little bit, but before. Well, and we're parked in shade because, like, yeah. literally with this look like the glass roof, mm -hmm. like, Teslas are great, but, like, man, when it's, like, a, over 100 degrees outside, like, yeah. this thing just, like, beats down. Like, I, imagine if you're, like, in Arizona or something like that. Yeah. It's like 115 degrees. Yeah. You have to have like a visor or something like that. Yeah, because the sun just beams down right on your head. So like, yeah. Here what she goes. That, Here she girl? goes. Like it's been about five minutes. The shit. The sugar's kicking in. <laughs> the sugar's kicking in, isn't it? Look at her. She look. She's like. She's like. Bounce. She's gonna bounce off the wall here in a minute. She's like. Why is she like rubbing the thing off her leg? She is. Yeah. She's like. She's, she's like literally. Because she's rubbing. hyper. <laughs> she she's don't know hyper. what to do with herself, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> She's all laughing to herself. You know what we should do one day? 
We should make ice cream. You actually can make it homemade you ice cream. You can make ice cream, yeah. It's pretty easy. You know the ingredients? I think it's just like milk, sugar, cream, and egg. Guys, you comment down below, guys, what your what your know. favorite ice cream is. I really like turtle ice cream. I like the caram the um I like the caramel, the chocolate, the pecans. I'm trying to think what else comes in here. And the hot fudge, I think. So my favorite really So my favorite is like I, flavor. No, I love I love Rocky Road. What part of Rocky Road do you like though? Like the almonds? The marshmallows. Oh. Yeah, marshmallows. You like the the marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Okay. My favorite part of the turtle it's got to be the caramel. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to our video. We hope you enjoyed it. It is winter. You got a lot to say back you here, guys, girl. It's actually dark now. We're just not getting home. I it's know. dark. <laughs> <laughs> we took a little nap. Actually, kind of took a little nap. But, um, yeah, I know it's dark now, so... We're finally just home. We're gonna rest. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because we always want more people in the TNT family. And always remember, wherever you go, there you are. So what, baby? So make the best out of it, guys. So make the best of it. Did you enjoy your little gift today? I did, yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I guess we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.